Hey, good morning, you guys. It is Wellness Wednesday. We are live at Lifetime in Fort Worth this morning talking about ways to improve your balance. I'm here with Lee Weber. Uh, okay, let's start with why it's important to work on your balance. Yeah, balance, you know, we have this big word in the industry called proprioception. It's just your body's ability to stabilize in an unstable environment. So balance is one of those things that causes the most injury as we get older. So it's really important to just incorporate a few movements in all your workouts or some of your workouts per week into some classes that challenge your proprioception to make sure that you're working on those little muscles that help stabilize your body. And you mentioned the key here, as you age, it gets a little tougher, but it does help to prevent falls also. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. So we've got three ways to improve your balance this morning. Three ways. Y'all can do this in your living room as well. Uh, okay. What's the first one? First one is just marching. So you just pick your knee up and you put it back down and you can take it forward. You can take it to the side, you can take it to the back. So it's just really just challenging outside of your own body frame to make sure that you can step upstairs, move laterally, move forward, backwards, side to side, all that. So it's just really simple. Something you can do standing in the counter in the kitchen, something like that. You're trying to move slowly though. Move slowly always. If you can't do it slow, don't do it fast. Okay. All For right. Sure. So that's number one, yep. marching. All right. What's number two? Number two, you can grab a dumbbell. Here, I'm going to give this dumbbell to you. You can have the dumbbell. Great. Thanks. Yeah, sure. And you're just going to do step up. So you just step up on something, stabilize, step back down and then step up with the other leg okay. and step up back down. I'll say what you do to one side, you gotta do to the other. Yep. So make sure that you're working both sides of your body. Sometimes you'll feel pain in one side more than the other. So you see, okay, this is where I don't feel right. Do a little bit more, do a little bit less, okay. modify it. That's what our Aurora classes are really for is to help modify those movements to make and sure you can do them all. You can do that like on a stair stairwell at your house. What's the last one? Last one is just a squat and you can hold a dumbbell up here. So okay. hold a dumbbell up your shoulder. Sometimes you can go above your head, but as you get older, you gotta be careful for your blood pressure. So Why you don't wanna go too far over your just head. Kidding. Oh, so you don't wanna go <laughs> too far over your head if you have any kind of blood pressure. So you just, just squat and you come up and do a press with it too. If you feel comfortable doing that, check with your doctor, check with your trainer. But a lot of these are the movements that we do in our work classes. So you have a coach, you have somebody that's teaching you to run through the movements. Yeah, what does this help in terms of balance? Because I'm on both feet. Yeah, on both feet. So you're stabilizing your core through the motion and there's weight on one side. Uh -huh. So now you're working on those obliques and your, your balance really comes from your core, not from your ankle. Okay. So you want to make sure that you're strengthening your core. We talked about this before, yes. not just your ankle. Your balance comes from your core, not from your ankle. Lee, yeah. thank you as always. Yeah, absolutely. And by the way, you guys, if you are like, ah, uh, I don't want to work on balance while I'm exercising. I always tell my yoga students, practice balance while brushing your teeth there you go. in the morning. Stand on one leg. 